When we think of Tsarist Russia, we associate it with a bastion of conservatism. And yeah, this is true. Although there are some peculiar exceptions, and we're going to talk about one of these exceptions, the Women's Battalion of Death. Exactly, Russian women on the Eastern Front of World War I. Stay tuned. In the summer of 1914, Russia became embroiled in the First World War and millions of Russian men were drafted to fight, only to die in the millions. Let's meet Maria Boshkareva. She was born in the Volga region in 1889. She married at the age of 15 and moved with her husband to Siberia. When he became abusive, she left him. When war broke out, she was determined to fight for her country. She traveled to Tomsk to apply for service. However, she was told she could only serve as a nurse and therefore she made an appeal to the Tsar himself. Tsar Nicholas II granted her request. Yes, she was enlisted. After three months training, she began frontline duty in the 5th Corps, 28th Regiment of the 2nd Army stationed at Polotsk. She saw action in 1915 and was wounded several times. When the February Revolution of 1917 took place, she initially supported it but was disappointed by the ensuing chaos. Boshkareva was inspired by the Russian shock troops. These battalions had to show an example to the Russian soldiers that these men were willing to fight and die in battle. She made an appeal to Minister of War Kerensky who granted her request to set up a women's battalion. Back in Petrograd, Boshkareva made her call for volunteers and around 2,000 women volunteered to fight on the Eastern Front. The battalion was hastily formed and blessed by the Patriarch Nikon on Red Square in Moscow before departing for the front in June. The women shaved their heads and put on standard army trousers, although one was too fat to fit them and had to go into battle in a skirt. Boshkareva, she was a harsh commander and when training began, the number of female volunteers soon dwindled to 300. After a month of training, Boshkareva and her unit became attached to the 1st Siberian Corps and she was sent to the Russian Western Front to participate in the Kerensky Offensives, where Boshkareva was promoted to the rank of lieutenant. I read that at the point when the Russian men were ordered to go over the top, many refused and Boshkareva and her women, they went over. To set an example for the Russian men, they conquered several German trenches. However, they could not hold their position because there was no relief coming and soon they had to retreat. When the October Revolution had taken place, the Russian Women's Battalion of Death was disbanded. Other Russian Women's Battalion did exist. The first Petrograd Women's Battalion was established in the summer of 1917, was trained in Petrograd and sent to the front on the eve of the, of the October Revolution. Their orders changed into defending the Winter Palace of the Provisional Government. I read that when the battleship Aurora fired its first salvo, the women became hysterical and had to be confined in the basement room. In any case, the pro-Bolshevik forces were superior and thus the women had to surrender. The second Moscow Women's Battalion of Death saw limited action and there was also the third Kuban Women's Shock Battalion which saw no action at all. Maria Boshkareva, she made it out of Russia by traveling to the far far east to Vladivostok and she went to the United States. There she met with Woodrow Wilson, the then president of the US and she begged him to send intervention forces to fight the Red Army during the Russian Civil War. In 1918, she returned to Russia, to Arkhangelsk. She later joined the forces of Admiral Kolchak, the White Movement General. Eventually, she was captured by the Bolsheviks and executed by a Cheka firing squad. If you want to know more 
about Russia during World War One, you can click right here. And if you want to know more about the Russian Imperial Army of the First World War, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and to share. Facebook, Reddit, Twitter. See you later.